All right, so I'm gonna go through a program instruction sheet from Peak Transformation, and I'm gonna just kind of show you how you could fill out the program instruction sheet for one of the transformation programs, and then how to get that information from the program sheet put into the blocks on the transformation data sheet prior to running the actual program with a participant. Um, so this one I picked out was Peak Transformation Opposites Block Arrangement 6F. And for this one, um, you're just using variations of blocks and you are building something in front of yourself and then you're putting another two blocks that are exactly the same in front of the participant and saying build the opposite. Um, so for this one, for stimuli one, I might put for the top, it being a red block, for the bottom, it being a yellow block. Then for the top on this side, they would need to be putting a yellow block to be the opposite and then a red block on bottom to be the opposite. Then the next one I might do for top, I would be putting the yellow on top and bottom for red and then they would need to do red on top and yellow on bottom to get that opposite. So I'm just gonna pull out these blocks just to show you. I've done a material sample for this one, but just to make sure that you're kind of following along. So for this first one, red on top, yellow on bottom, you'll give them the two blocks and say build the opposite. This is what's over here for stimuli B, that's the correct answer. So then for the next one, we would show for train class two, yellow on top, red on bottom. They would get these two blocks, build the opposite. We should see this, red on top, yellow on bottom. Your train classes, you're gonna be prompting, reinforcing, giving feedback. Um, the next one I might do for the top, a green block, a bottom red block, and then it's just gonna be the opposite. So, red on top, green on bottom. So, green on top, red on bottom, build the opposite. That's the right answer. Red on top, green on bottom. And then for the fourth one, I might do the flip of this. So, red on top, green on bottom. So there's two variations for each of these sets of blocks so that the participant can't just memorize the presentation of these specific blocks, they really need to be attending to what we're building and that they're building the opposite of that. So then on top would be green, on bottom would be red. So for this last one, now we're doing red on top, green on bottom, build the opposite, and that would be their opposite answer. Um, then for test stimuli, I'm just kinda leave this up here so you can kinda see them. So that was our train stimuli. And then our test stimuli, I have another set of blocks. So for this one, and actually I need to switch some of these out because we did it a little differently in this demo. So for test class, for the top, we did a blue triangle and the bottom was red, okay? So blue triangle, you could even have it go this way. Blue triangle, red on bottom. So then their answers for top should be red, bottom should be the blue triangle. Okay, so this would be a 10 for the opposite. Then we're gonna use that same set, and for this time the top is gonna be red, the bottom is gonna be a blue triangle. The top answer should be a blue triangle and bottom being red. So this one, Build the opposite. They should go like that for the correct answer. The blue triangle on top of the red. Okay? Then again, still using the same set of blocks for test class three. Top might be red and bottom might be the blue square. So then their top should be the blue square and the bottom should be red. So for this, that stimuli Y. For, train, for test class three, red on top, blue square on bottom. Build the opposite, that's the correct answer for a 10. Blue on top, red on bottom. Then we're gonna flip it for that fourth test class. 
So on top, you're going to have a blue square, bottom red. The correct answer is top red, bottom blue square. Okay, so the top is the blue square, bottom is red for what we show them. Stimuli Z for test class four is red on top, blue square on bottom. So that is how you would fill out this program sheet. Then normally what I would do is bag this. So I usually put this in a Ziploc and have train class. And then this would be in a bag for test class because you're intermixing all of these within these four classes. So you can sometimes bag them even more specifically like train class one and two, train class two and three, things like that. But this is just all gonna get used for your train class. All of these get used for your test class. So two bags, put in a big bag for a block arrangement, 6F. Okay, now to move this over to your transformation data sheet. This one goes a little different because you're gonna have two different blocks. Instructions here show us that there's one block for train A to B, second block test Y to Z. So, this is a demo. This one is 6F block arrangement. I'll probably put opposite here at the top. Okay, so then I'm gonna initial and date. This is step one. Step one is A to B. Okay, so you're going from A to B in your train class. So I'm going to intermix my train class in this block. No test class go in this block. So you have a block of train, and then we're gonna do a block of test. So for this block, I'm gonna intermix these. So I might do one, then four, then two, then three, then one, then four, three, two, one, and then two. All of this is training. You're gonna run 10 trials back to back, all of which are train. You're going to build, have them build the opposite, prompt, praise, give feedback, all that good stuff because you're in a train block. Um, all your scores can get used because again, you're in a train block. After you're done with that, you're gonna move straight into a test block. So again, I would have this all pre-filled out before I'm working with the participant. So initials, date, we're now doing step two, which is test Y to Z. So now I'm over on this test side for this next block. And now I'm gonna fill out with these test class stimuli. So I wouldn't be using these blocks anymore. I'd be pulling out this bag, using my test stimuli, and not giving any feedback. Just running these 10 trials and marking either a zero or a 10 for my score. So again, if this is helpful, since this whole block is going to be test, you can just cross out that whole middle section. All you need are zeros and tens. Okay, so now I'm gonna intermix my test class for this block. So I might do one, two, three, four, one, two, four, three, two, and then a four maybe. Okay, and so right after this, you're gonna see the demonstration of this program run. You're gonna see the 10 trials of train ran with back to back with this test block. And then at the end of that demonstration, you're gonna see this data sheet completely filled out with all of the scores on it and your totals. So again, you're gonna run the train and test blocks back to back with no break in between, and then add up your scores when you're finished with the participant. Okay, so that's just kind of an example of how to fill out that program sheet for a peak transformation program and how to transfer that information onto your data sheet. Build the opposite. Hmm, that's the same. Build the opposite. Try again. Build the opposite. Good. The opposite is yellow on top. Let's try another one. Build the opposite. Good. That's building the opposite. Build the opposite. Yay! You did it. You built the opposite. Let's do build the opposite. Hmm, that's the same. Build the opposite. That's right. Good building the opposite. Build the opposite. Yay! You built the opposite. Build the opposite. Build the 
opposite. That's the same. I like how you're thinking about it. <gasps> That's opposite. Let's try. Build the opposite. Good, fixing that. That is the opposite. Let's try another one. Build the opposite. That's the same. Build the opposite. Yes, that is opposite. Let's try another. Build the opposite. That's the same. Build the opposite. That's opposite. Nice work. One more and then we're going to switch blocks. Build the opposite. Good. That is opposite. Let's try some new blocks. Build the opposite. Let's do another one. Build the opposite. Let's do another. Build the opposite. Let's do another one. Build the opposite. Build the opposite. Another one. Build the opposite. Let's do another. Build the opposite. Let's do another one. We have three more. Build the opposite. Build the opposite. Last one. Build the opposite. Go ahead and check your scores for peak transformation opposite block arrangement 6F.